Hey guys, welcome to day number 26 here on Project 24 Kevin. I'm your host, 24 Kevin, and this is Solve It Saturday. So, it is 4 in the morning here in Canada. I am ridiculously tired. I was preparing for tomorrow's video, which is one where I'm going to attempt to break a world record, I think. I'm not really going to be on my A game, it's just going to be really one riddle and three jokes, so hopefully this works out alright. So let's start out with a classic. Two peanuts are walking down the road. One was assaulted. The answer to the little riddle last week was sawdust. It's the only thing that's curved, it's real wood, it's a technicality just like all the riddles. Get over it. Alright, the answer to the big riddle last week takes a little bit of explanation. The way you cut the gold is so that you have one brick that's one foot long, one brick that's two feet long, and one brick that's four feet long. So you cut the first one that's one foot, you cut the second one that's second feet, that leaves you with the four feet left. So the way you pay the driver one foot of gold every day is, the first day, you pay him the first one foot... The first day you give him exactly... The first day you give him your one foot gold brick. The second day, you give him your two-foot gold brick and take back your one-foot gold brick. The third day, you give him your one-foot gold brick again. The fourth day, you give him your four-foot gold brick and you take back your two-foot and your one-foot. That's three, for those of you who can't add. Anyways, the fifth day, you give him the one-foot gold brick again. The sixth day, you give him the two-foot, he gives you back the one-foot. And the seventh day, you give him the one-foot and you're good to go, paid up all seven days. My second joke of the day is also another classic. Two muffins are sitting in an oven. One muffin goes, boy, it's hot in here. The other one goes, holy crap, a talking muffin. It's time for our big riddle of the week, and you all know what that means. It's time for action figure riddle theater. Once upon a time, three friends decided to go out for an afternoon and fly a kite. There was Ernie who brought the kite, Bashful the Dwarf, who wanted to get away from his older brothers. And Clumsy, who just wanted to come have fun. Oof! Anyways, the three friends decided to take off to a valley. Huh? Hey. Hey guys, wait for me! Oof! Oh. Unfortunately, the friends had trespassed in the valley of the evil wizard Jafar and Jafar captured the three friends. The three friends begged and pleaded with Jafar to let them go, and Jafar agreed to let them go. They could solve this riddle. Jafar transported them immediately to a staircase and said this is how the game's gonna work. All of you are now standing on a staircase. Ernie can see Clumsy Smurf and Bashful. Clumsy Smurf can see Bashful, and Bashful can't see anyone. There are no mirrors or anything, None of you can talk, and you're all only going to get one guess at this. Now this is how the game will work. Each of the three friends are each going to be wearing a hat. They're either going to be wearing two black hats and a white hat, or two white hats and a black hat. Not to be confused with the hats they're already wearing. So Jafar went and placed the hats on each one of their head and began to count. One. Two. Three. Four. And, and just as he was saying five, Clumsy Smurf says, I know what color hat I have on, and guess is right. And all his friends are free to go. The riddle is, how did Clumsy Smurf know which colored hat he had on? Hint, he didn't see his own hat, he figured it out for himself. So for those of you who don't quite understand the riddle, Here's a little bit of an explanation. Bing. The three guys are stacked up on the staircase. They can only look forward. So the guy in the back can only see the two people in front of him. The guy on the middle stair can only see the one guy in front of him. The one guy in the front can't see anyone. Now there's no mirrors or anything. They couldn't see it in any way, shape, or form. They figured out the answer using their heads. The wizard told them he's either going to put two black hats and a white hat, or one black hat and two white hats on their head. But he wasn't going to tell them the combination he put on their head. 
The wizard tells him, if just one of you can guess which color hat you have on your head, you're all free to go. However, if one of you guesses wrong, you're all dead. So, as the wizard begins to count to five, they're all thinking. When the wizard gets to four and a half, the guy in the middle says, I know what color hat I have on, and he guesses right, and they're all free to go. Now, I'm going to tell you now, it's a big hint that he didn't guess at all. He knew 100% what color hat he had on his head. So try and figure it out, and hit me up in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think the answer is. I'll try and get back to you as fast as I can. So it's time for our final joke of the day. Two fish are sitting in a tank. One fish says to the other fish, Who's driving this thing? Anyways, that's all the time we got for Solve It Saturday here on Project 24, Kevin. I'm your host, 24 Kevin. I gotta go, though. I should really go to bed. See you guys tomorrow for the record-breaking